Fucking <laughs> hell. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God, my heart. Dude, you're going to get poked by a nail playing around like that. What's happening, captains? Captains? No, captains, right? Because it's cap and then apostrophe N when he says it. What's happening, captains? That's hard, actually. I only just thought of saying that, and then I said it, and I'm like, ooh. All right, we're going to be trying something different. I'm going to be watching nukes on this projector I got a little while ago, actually. First time actually watching a nukes video on it, though. In bed. All cozy. It's going to be good. It's going to be scary. Oh, yeah, and I got smoothies, my boo mate. It's actually really good. Good for nukes. They get a commercial literally every time I play them. Must be nice being a successful YouTuber. I'll get there. Yeah, I'll Top get there. five ghosts. Call on camera. Wrong way. Urban Explorers Matt and Andy from the YouTube channel Finders Beepers History Seekers explore the abandoned Mossley Manor in Liverpool, England. The manor has a very dark history. The Victorian building was constructed over 150 years ago by cotton merchant Nicholas Duckworth who passed away in the home in 1889. Cotton merchant. In 1940, the manor served as a home for unwed mothers and their children. It was later sold to become a care home for the elderly and disabled, called Mossley Manor Care Home. Around 2014, reports began to surface of abuse and terrible living conditions at the Mossley Manor home. Even more disturbing, families discovered the unreported deaths of at least 10 elderly patients in the home. The care home was shut Damn. down in 2015. For obvious reasons, many claim that the Mossley Manor is haunted and is a hot spot for paranormal activity. Unreported deaths because they just weren't reporting it to who they were supposed to or because they were trying to hide something. They're just a couple of guys who enjoy either way that's bad. Of old decaying properties like the Mossley Manor and cracking a few jokes along the way. All right, so you've just come in to a sort of where they keep files and diaries and one thing or another. You didn't look suitable to enter the building on account of him having a wild expression in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> How can... Psychopath coming in. No, but who can judge whether somebody should be allowed in because they've got a wild look in their eyes? Never let me in, would they? <laughs> this building is amazing, actually. I really want to go scrambling around on that roof. There's even documents there about patients. Oh, f***ing hell! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god, my heart. Dude, you're gonna get poked by a nail playing around like that. That happened to someone I knew back in the day. We had a trunk. It was an old trunk with nails sticking out. And some kid climbed in there. It was my trunk, because I knew, I knew not to climb in there. But this kid didn't know. It's the second or third floor we're going up to. Because we went down to the base when he's thrown me. Totally thrown me. That paper's they thick, aren't they? Wallpaper in here is like good quality wallpaper. Yeah, I will say that. Yeah. So, but yeah, you can see it goes up again. Hey, wait up. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Somebody up there. Hello. Damn. I feel like there's somebody down there as well. Right, I'm going up. Dang, I saw that shadow walk by. What the fuck? What did you see this time? Right, I... Oh, I swore and he bleeps it. Yeah. I'm gonna get myself demonetized. Oh, it might have been. I've gone cold because I saw somebody stood there. I saw a leg. Hello? You just thought. <gasps> I know that's funny, but if you smell something bad, that could be a ghost. Something bad. Like rotting meat or fart. A voice? I didn't hear. I don't know who I can do this. Get out. 
<laughs> what did he say there? You got to read his lips, I guess. That's weird. I'm going to have to look back at the footage. As Matt films the top of the staircase, he captures what appears to be the legs of someone or something who seems to be watching. Is there even something reflective? Maybe that is a person with something on their shoes. They immediately head up the stairs to investigate, but they can't find anyone or anything to explain what Matt captured on camera. Or a shadow person. Even stranger, there is nowhere for anyone to walk or hide. Now keep in mind that the mysterious figure disappeared towards the right side. Well, that just leads toward a wall with a tiny boarded Ooh. up window. Ooh. The mysterious person okay. seems to have simply disappeared into thin air. But they went that way and there's no way you can go. So could it be that they captured the ghost of- That's pretty good. Could be him, could be some random patient. Of one of the elderly patients that passed away inside the manor. Yeah. Let me know what you think. More TikTok. I think my hair looks cooler that way. So the office manager goes to check the CCTV footage. He finds a truly chilling discovery that as TikTok user Chips and Chicken put it, quote, freaked him out. That's pretty good. All right. Oh, damn. This is security footage? What this the looks like she's floating, Bob. Oh. Oh, what the hell? It looks like he's wearing a sheet. Oh god, that gives me the creeps. Oh my yep. god. A white figure can be seen hovering around the back of the building. Workers who watched the footage believe it might be the spirit of a Union Center member who had recently passed. I feel like the oldest Halloween costume ever is just putting a sheet over your, your yourself and pretending to be a ghost. I think because people have actually seen ghosts that look like that. So is it real? Right there, there's one. Or is it just an elaborate hoax? Looks through you the decide. window too. Uh, he's looking at the camera. TikTok user, your mom's undies. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's just take a second for the giggles to pass. All right. That's a good one. Uh, anyway, she Great shout out too, by the way. <laughs> anything scary that she watches on the internet or TV. But when her uncle sent her this video captured at his apartment in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, <gasps> But they say they've never captured anything like this before. What terrifies the family even more is that the dark figure, which appears to have claws for hands. Oh man. People be like, why don't you just move? Because some people can't afford it. Can't just move. Some people aren't rich. To stay at their parents' home. So did the family capture some dark entity on camera? You decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukes.5 at gmail.com to wake the that dead. That was quick. I like how he made it quick. Popular Jordanian live gmail.com. I use Outlook. I did a bit of research and I don't want to use the same email. Like I already have Gmails. Like I don't want to use the same service for everything. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? These videos. Oh shit, these are always good. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Bismillah ar Rahman. Sounds like they're screaming in the distance, but does he even hear that? Is that just something the camera's picking up? Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. I'm becoming quite familiar with this prayer, by the way. I hear this prayer a lot on Hassan sees a dark figure peeking out from the door of the abandoned house. Another peeker. As it darts back inside, Hassan runs to the building, but the figure has disappeared. But whatever is roaming the property One thing I like seems about to be getting even closer. I guess it's something a lot of you, oh, ghost paranormal people, like researchers, whatever you want to call it, do. That's good. More of, more of the more investigators are actually running towards it instead of running away. That's what you're supposed to do. 
Too many ghost shows where people ran away. <laughs> people learn from them. I remember when that was a thing. Remember the memes? So you go out looking for ghosts, and then you see a ghost, and then you run away. There's the screaming again. It's louder. I think we heard this earlier, but not as loud. Bismillah. Oh. Bismillah. He heard his foot. He's checking. Bismillah. Okay, that scream actually sounded like a person. Now I'm wondering if he's got a person. See, the terrifying no in there, scream though. becomes ear piercingly loud, and Hassan once again attempts to run toward the source of the sound. But he painfully thing I can stumps think his of... toe against a piece of cement. <laughs> Only thing I can think of, he's got a lady in the next room screaming. And checks his injured toe. Then, out of nowhere, the intense screaming is back. And now it seems to be right where he's. That screaming is like. It sounds too real. I don't know. Oh, it's live. A terrifying turn. That's a better way to tell if it's real. He got hit with a rock. Oh, he did. He got hit by something. <laughs> His reaction. <laughs> that sounded real. That reaction sounded real. That's like the kind of. <laughs> that's a scream where you weren't planning to scream. It's <laughs> like a kind of scream you'd be embarrassed by. As Hassan looks out a window, he gets hit in the neck by something. As he little pebble, probably. Ghost throw pebbles. A horrifying dark figure suddenly appears right behind him. <laughs> Terrified, he turns around, but again, there's no one there. The fact that it's That's live when is, is good. Hassan has finally had enough. He decides to just get and out. And he's of responding there. to the chat. So did Hassan Barbar capture a malicious gin? So you know it's not a pre-recording. It's live and he's talking to the chat live and then that happens. Always, That's convincing. <laughs> All right, well, wasn't that freaky? I know because I'm, I'm editing the very thing that you're watching. So this version of me in this point in time is like you were watching the same thing. Creepy, right? Wasn't that actually? No, it's kind of old school. I used to watch YTV. They would do that all the time. YTV is my example. <laughs> Uh, wasn't that a great episode? Oh, that's Spongebob. No, well, back in the day for me, it was more like, Oh, that Dexter. Dexter's, Dexter's laboratory? Laboratory? He called it a laboratory. Alright, this is going to be a two-parter. 